What's up everybody? So today we have an amazing photo shoot at hands down probably one of the most amazing places anywhere in South Florida, the Breakers Hotel production photo shoot. We're here bright and early. We woke up at uh, 4.30 this morning to get down here for the sunrise. Here it is. I think you're going to like it. All right, guys, let me show you here uh, what we're playing with for today. Come on in with the camera, George. Come, come right in here so you can see. All right, guys, so we've got, uh, we're running two regular Quadra uh, packs with the high-speed heads. We have two of those, two packs, two heads, two sets of lithium batteries, four sets of lead acids, and then for the heavy lifting, once the sun comes up and it becomes crazy, we've got the, uh, the big guy in here, which is the Ranger AS uh, 1100 watts and I have two heads for those as well. So that should, should get us through the day. <laughs> yeah, 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 look at me, look at me! Almost there, yeah, That's the biggest disadvantage with doing shoots where you're using a lot of a lot of a lot of strobe work is the fact that, you know, I mean, you're you're really tied down to the pack in terms of how fast that can recycle. And so, you know, having quick packs, and this is not a cheap pack, you know, it's like three thousand dollars, but still, even there, it's it's just it's 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 not enough. So it's very tempting to just that's why I broke out that some uh, California Sun Balance panel is so that I could just shoot however fast I wanted to. And for situations like this, where you're not working with a pro model and it's your everyday person, that's a consideration. And that's where a, a natural light photographer really has a you know, very, very specific, um, they have an advantage over people that are tied down to these, this guy. So it's, it's a give and take. There's no better or best. It's just a matter of, you know, you can get a more of a controlled look with strobes and you can get more reactionary shots with natural light. Take your right hand and kind of like play with it, with like the edge of the dress, sort of like just kind of grab it, fluff it up a little bit, pull it around, but, but key into the light. Keep your face this direction. Right, hold it there. Stand in between the two pillars. That's it. That's how we're going to create the shadow. Come this way. Shuffle over, yep, keep going a little bit more. Go back a little more step so that it's out of your face there. Great, come forward slightly. Now turn the dress this way, the face this way. Now we'll get you, Chris, here. You key, key in the face there, chin down a little bit. Good. Let's see. Eyes to me for one. All right, my dear, come on down. <clears throat> and for our first trick, we're going to have you over here. Turn, lo lock, turn your waist this way, and your face more this way. Chin down. Yeah, that's it. Hold it there. Hold it there. Try to turn the hand so it's profile, if that's possible. Yeah, right like that. Yes. That's it. Chin up a little bit more. That's it. Bring that leg right up high again. Yeah, yeah. Turn your face more to the light. Chin down a little bit. Good. Hold it there. Wait for those double beats. Hold it there. One. Hang on. One more. Good. Hold it. This arm is down. Just go back like this. Good. Roll the shoulder back. Yeah, that one's good. Just like there. Yep. Awesome. Turn the face. Yes. Hold it there. Drop the chin a little bit, build that intensity. Good. Yes, hold it there. I'm holding my breath. The other hand on the waist as well. Yeah. 
That's it, great. Eyes ready to me. Turn your face a little this way, slightly. Right there, that's it. Hang tight, wait for that girl to go by. Hold it there, oh, she's almost cleared. Hang on, three, two, and there it is. Yeah, 1.2, four thousandths of a second at ISO 100. Absolutely unbelievable tech. The fact you can do that with a, with a head. And I mean, we're at 200 watts, 200 watt seconds to put that in perspective. So half power, I mean, it's not too bad. Two second recycle, two and a half, probably three seconds. Wait, wait, hold it. Okay. Nice. Can you do one with your arms up? Okay, hang on. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hang on, wait, wait for me. Okay. Good, hold it there. That was really sick, and that couldn't be more perfect. I mean, that round spot, that's right where you gotta stand. And notice though, only three three frames, because right. it's 400 watts. Yeah. Flash efficiency. 15 watts, dude. Yeah. 15, the difference was 15 watts yeah. and 400 watts. Where's the camera? All right, so here's, here's a little thing for you guys. BLT sandwich and fries. $100 for a Big Mac right now. So one of the things that we were talking about is the fact that on a day like today where we have like crazy, crazy sun and defined shadows. So I prefer shooting, you know, earlier in the morning, late in the day. That's sort of the general rule when it comes to golden hour. But here we are and right now it is 1154. So this is high noon right now. This by no stretch of the imagination is the ideal time to do in photography, yet Yet, I'm pulling off amazing shots here in the field in a very hard lit situation, and here's how I'm doing it. Very simply, pan the camera, George, check this out. So if you look here, where, where she just was, we have a shadowed background, and if we look down here, we have, a, we have a sharp shadow line right here. And if I stand here, obviously the sun's to my back, I pick up a free, what I'm gonna call a separation light, which I'm being lit by the sun, and now my face is in shadow. So when I use one light to light me, I just match the exposure value of the camera to this halo behind me, and then I just dial in that light that I need on the main, and that's a very efficient way to do it. This works well because the baseline camera value exposure is set for that. It's set for the background, which is much darker. So to put this in perspective, I was shooting at 800 parts of a second at f2.8 at ISO 400, and I only needed 15 watt seconds of power out of my main light to light the model, and that looked exactly like a two light setup. That shot is right here. So that's what I mean, guys. So when you take a look at a shot like that, it's amazing, and it was very efficiently done. Now, when we come back here, and she's full on here in the sun, if I shoot this compressed, I could do the same exact thing I, just, I was just talking about. What are you filming the bush over there? You can see me in the frame? It was like over there. I can barely see the screen. Oh my God. What are we gonna do on the 25th? So, when she was here, I switched to a wide angle lens because I already got tight compressed shots that I wanted with the dark background, which was very efficient for the flash. The second we came here, we're in mid sun. Okay, now I wanna open up and I wanna get a wider composition purposely so I could exploit the fact that we're here at the breakers and it's an amazing architecture, right? The thing is now, now I'm bringing in the sky and all the surrounding highlights into the equation. And it's not just being contained with the dark uh, background as it was before. So now I'm at F18, or the equivalent of like maybe one two thousandth of a second if you're doing high speed. So let's just keep it native at two fiftieth of a second. Now I'm ISO 100 at like F16, F11, F18, one of those, somewhere in there. I was at F16 for my test shot. Now we're at 400 watts of power to bring the sun behind me into submission so I get a rich blue sky and the byproduct of shooting at f16 and some shutting down the aperture of the lens so it's micro micro small and just like when you squint at something you get the really cool starburst effect little tip for you guys if you didn't already know that and I wanted that effect so I didn't want to shoot high speed native at 1 250th with a lot of power 400 watts which is fine 
but now we get into flash efficiency. You cannot afford to do that all throughout this area here. You're gonna kill your batteries, you're gonna overheat your packs. You know, it, it, it's not sustainable. So that's why it's important to understand flash, effic flash efficiency when you're doing setup, setups like this because they can make all the difference in the world. I also hate the beach. Even nice beaches, I don't like them. Don't take the tiger to the beach. I don't like it. I'm much better with hotel and architecture and floral and greenery and... Because what are you going to do on the beach? Stand there? I mean, you know, I could go through three or four different poses, but it's like... It's the beach. Oh, sh What's up guys? Today's the day. We got an awesome photo shoot today. We're at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach. Production, Quince. I can't say Quince. <laughs> oh, there's something about saying Quince. I don't know what it is. is it like, I, maybe I'm from Vermont, so I mean, up there, there's no such thing as that, so. <clears throat> I, I don't wanna say, right. Because I get comments on my channel, like what the hell is a Quince? Because they're from like London and like, you know, Texas. I don't know what that is.